hello everyone professor lohit here so this is this lecture number it is continuation of the chromosome stopping side distance and let's see the problem so what is the given here calculate the stopping side distance on highway at a descending gradient of 2% for a design speed of 80 kmph assume other data as per as i had said recommendations so what he given he given you the speed then gradient gradient the he given as a descending gradient so that is n as minus 2% and you know the reaction time is going to be 2.5 seconds for stopping side distance and coefficient of friction for 80 kmph we take it as around 0.3 feet so let us solve the problem this so 80 kmph is nothing but if i convert it to the meter per second it's going to be 80 divided by 3.6 i'm going to get vs around 22.2 meter per second yeah that's fun stopping side distance is nothing but vt plus v square divided by 2g in the bracket f here it's going to be descending gradient so it's it going to be minus n divided by 100 so therefore v is nothing but 22.2 reaction time is going to be 2.5 seconds plus 22.2 squared divided by 2 into 9.81 in the bracket f is 0.3 much how much 35 0.35 minus n they given as a 2 divided by 100 so if I simplify this, this is going to be around 55.5 plus 76.2. This is going to be around 131.7 meter or approximately 132 meter. Clear? And this is the one they given you as a descending gradient. If they given you the positive as ascending gradient, then it going to be plus. It's clear. So you can, if anyone is comfortable with the other formula that is uh, putting the V value in KMPH, you can solve from that method also and check the value. You again, you're going to get around 131 meter using the other formula too. So moving to the next problem. So what are they given here? The design speed of the road is 65 kmph. The friction of coefficient is 0.36 and the reaction time of the driver is 2.5 second. Calculate the value of first condition is IST that is intermediate side distance and second is headlight side distance required for the road. So now again let us write down the given things so v they given you as 65 kmph f as 0.36 t they given you as 2.5 second so again calculate by using the formula this one i solve it in the kmph formula so the stopping side distance is going to be ssd is equal to 0.278 v into t plus v square divided by 254 f clear so i'm going to input the values now 0.278 v is how much 65 reaction time is 2.5 plus 65 square divided by 254 into f is 
and here you're going to get the SSTS stopping side distances 91.4 meter so the intermediate side distance the, that's the for the first condition na, to calculate the ISD I explained in the last class when we were uh, dealing with the first side distance the intermediate side distance is always given as two times of stopping side distance so it's going to be 2 into 91.4 meter that gives you around 182.8 meter or you can say approximately 183 meter and second condition is to find the headlight side distance it's going to be remained headlight side distance is nothing but the side distance that will be approximately again it won't be remain same 90.4 91.4 meter or approximately 92 meter so here we solve some of the problems I can, can take down one one problem for the assignment design calculate the stopping side distance of a road at ascending gradient of 3% for a design speed of 100 kmph assume the other data as per as IRC recommendations it's clear this is a problem you can solve it by it as a assignment thank you for patience here